circles the runes have. We are the key. The cube. Us. Okay, first of all, this whole Japan thing is orchestrated. I don't know if the earthquake, the tsunami was, but the nuclear plant definitely was. There's plenty of security measures in place for those things to not have to go through this. And if there's not, then we've been terribly lied to because they want to build more here. And that's what we've been told, if you remember correctly, by certain people, all right? So anyway this is what they're pushing for is the dawn of a new day I mentioned this before in my other videos but I'm I just ran across the series that Jordan Maxwell just got done with and I have to give credit where credit is due he really nails this thing and gives the proper documentation and um, he uh, uses documents to prove his point here now I know he's talked crazy in the past but we gotta remember he's dealing with things on a whole different playing field than we are we're down here in YouTube land with a hundred views some of you got thousands couple thousand views he's dealing with uh, possibly millions of people knowing him okay so he gets a lot of heat I'm sure for exposing some of this stuff and I mean I think maybe he may have said some of the crazy things he said recently um, talked recently a year year and a half ago or whatever when he was really starting to be noticed I think he may have done that to get the heat off of him all right because this stuff he's got now really exposes what's going on about this new day uh, deal and this new day symbolism the sun rising from the east what you're looking at here is the Russian coat of arms okay it's a symbol for communism the Russian coat of arms okay now I'm going to show you a document one of the documents that Jordan Maxwell shows in here's his series on it all right so here's just one of the many documents that he puts in this series now start reading pause it and start reading from just before where the highlight starts and then at the end you're going to notice uh, it says the invisible empire <clears throat> the empire state is New York and this is where the behind the scenes uh, stuff has been taking place for a very long time um, you know uh, what's one letter after N? You, NY is New York right so one letter after N is O and one letter after Y is Z so you have the land of Oz and the guys behind the curtain right there <clears throat> you can think that's a stretch if you want but it's not and this is where they're working behind the scenes behind the curtain to bring all this about along with the uh, the British Empire and the royal bloodline that all of them are a part of the politicians the movie stars the musicians they get put at birth with families to make it look like they came from nothing but they're all part of a bloodline the royal dynasty that goes all the way back to the pharaohs and further people this is a dawn of a new day the dawn of a new beginning a dawn of a, what they want to bring about and they know the cycle and they've been hiding uh, a lot of things from us and how life goes so uh, here's this is just one of the many documents he has all right I've shown you this symbol before I just thought I'd throw it in there again you know the Sun rising um, from the east looks like a shell but it's also the Sun rising in between two pyramids um, and this next picture you're gonna see is a picture that was from a article talking about Wall Street and how it was a the article said something about it being a new day on Wall Street and you're gonna see this symbol of a sun rising between two pyramids once again uh, this symbol can also be a sun rising over mountaintops or just over a landscape usually it's pyramids or mountaintops though all right and again let me stress uh, the series I'm gonna post below is a uh, that Jordan Maxwell came out with uh, is very good and he, he nails a lot of points and he may have been taught he may have said some crazy things in the past but I I'm starting to think that was to get the heat off him because he's playing on a whole different ball field than we are he's playing with the big boys and he has big boys watching him so and now since he talked that crazy stuff he kind of went under the radar again if you notice and now he's came out with this 
a low funded series but expo I mean he has a lot of documentation I'll post the first part of the series and then it's up to you to watch the rest I'd highly recommend it okay but anyway so next we're gonna see this picture I talked about okay so here's a picture from the article I told you about it was a Wall Street article and it was talking about a new day a new day on Wall Street and they just so happen to use this picture why cuz it looked good no because it, it was a good looking picture no because it means something and it's they're communicating okay with each other and this is what's coming this is a symbol of communism this is the symbol of a dawn of a new day a British and United States Union reuniting uh, and then uh, pushing world communism I forget who it was but there was a Russian uh, back in the 50s I believe and he had said that one day communism would come to the world with, without a shot being fired now I know there's been shots fired in Egypt and Iraq and Afghanistan but what he was he, basically he was saying was people would accept it willingly one day without a struggle and that's because we're being conditioned through media through music through these people who care nothing about you but you give everything to them uh, listen, stop playing their game. Stop giving them money. Stop buying their music. Start burning their credit card offers, which I'm going to start doing in a couple of videos from now. I'm going to burn a couple credit card offers and uh, see if I can get something started there. But quit playing their game. Quit giving these guys money on the holidays and making them richer. You know, they take their $3 million bonuses and give everybody else $8 an hour. Come on, people. Okay, so once again, here's Obama's symbol. Sun rising from the east. And in case you think this is a coincidence or he just used that symbol because it was purdy, I'm going to show you the next uh, image and where it specifically says something about a new day. Okay, this is what they're doing. we got to wake up. Go watch that Jordan Maxwell series. I'll put the link to the first part down there in the description area. Please watch the rest. He's got plenty of documents stating that this is what it is it's the sun order it's called and it's the black sun not this sun this is the sun hiding the other sun they're really worshiping the black sun Saturn okay um dawn of a new day this is what's going on okay so there it is a new day yep a new day dawning and there's a reason why he uses that for his symbol because it's 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 a message that okay things are moving forward now okay you think the earthquake in Japan was something that's not it man if you're in the city I I don't like to fear monger a lot but I would consider starting to think about moving out in the country somewhere somewhere else simple country living just think of how nice and beautiful it'll be but if you're already conditioned to the city, I know it's real hard. You like your nightclubs, you like this. You got to get out of that, man. You got to come out, come out of her, come out of Babylon. Get out of there, man. Because things are going to happen in these big cities. I'm thinking Chicago's next here. I'm not sure. Um, or maybe California will drop off into the ocean. Who knows? Uh, as of today, a highway just dropped. I think it's was route one or something is dropped and part of that just dropped into the ocean today so uh <clears throat> i would get out of these big cities you know unless you're right with uh you know the messiah and the messiah and, and the, his teachings are in your heart then hey then you know then you're not worried about a thing but um i would uh if you have children and stuff you still want to be there for them if you can be so uh things are going to happen Okay, Future Farmers of America, same thing. It's even got an owl on it, um, which is another one of their symbols. The, the owl is a symbol of Bohemian Grove, you know. So there you go. The uh, agriculture education, sun rising from the east, dawn of a new day, dawn of a new man. It also has other implications, like... Um, they want to dumb us down and condition us so much to we're just robots. Go to work, come home, go to work, come home. Consume, consume. Why do they call us consumers, by the way? You know, cows consume grass. Chickens consume feed. Pigs consume slop. Um, are we in the same boat with them when it comes to these people? I think so. 
okay so they got big plans and and they they got news coming and it ain't good so uh, pay very close attention okay now here's the state seal of Ohio I'm also going to show you the state seal of Montana and I also know the state seal of Florida has this the sun rising from the east you know this one's over mountains just like I said you see mountains or pyramids in Florida's case it's hills okay so uh, you see you're gonna see this symbol everywhere because it means something not because it's pretty because it means something okay it's a it's it signifies communism and there's a, a lot of people that are into communism that you're not aware of like this guy Jim Cramer I don't know if you've ever seen him he calls stocks he's always bragging about how he uh, resembles Lenin okay there's a reason why um, he's proud of that okay so now let's look at the next one okay the state seal of Montana same thing sun rising over the mountains it also uh, is red dawn red is the uh, color for communism red is also the, one of the colors for the life cycle or for Saturn red yellow blue and green remember if you go back through those symbols, they've all got that color scheme. Okay, and they're all in a circle too, notice. And a ring around them, like you're kind of looking into another dimension. See how you're kind of looking through into another dimension, into another uh, setting almost? Um, it's very strange. I highly recommend you go, I'm going to put his Jordan's uh, website link down there and a uh, uh, and I'd encourage you maybe to get one or two of his books. Um, they are good. Uh, some of them, some of the books there are good information. And no matter what he said and the crazy things he said in the past, uh, like I said, I think he had to get some heat off him maybe. You never know. I'm not agreeing with everything he says, but when it comes to this, he's right on the money, people. We need to wake up, smell the coffee, look around they have plans for us and they're not good um, uh, as far as this Japan thing it's I think that this whole nuclear debacle is a bunch of bull it's a bunch of BS if they don't have better security for them things than that man then they better just go ahead and legalize everything you know that's the best they can do with security and that's the best they can do with these other things uh, the Katrina debacle and all that you know just let us decide what we want to smoke, what we want to eat, what we want to do. I'm not condoning any of these things necessarily. I'm just saying, you know, <clears throat> quit making laws that have to do with our freedoms. You know, you say this is all about freedom. Well, then give us freedom. We have no freedom, people. All right. It's communism. And it's already here. And it's already, it's been planned for a long, 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 long time. And they have a satanic Luciferian agenda that goes along with it that you're going to have to accept. I don't care if you don't believe in the Messiah. I don't care what you, I don't care if you think you're an atheist. They're going to tear your atheism down just like they're going to tear everything, try to tear everything else down. Or are going to for some people. They're not going to tear my, they're not going to tear my spirituality down. But they might, they're going to tear down a lot of people's uh, outlooks on everything. And they're going to make them accept this Luciferian doctrine. Or there's going to be an alternative placed in front of you okay so you better be right you better at least know yourself and be and be honest with yourself and uh, be a friend of yourself and quit filling your quit trying to replace yourself with all these other movie stars and and whatnots and 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 musicians Alright, so there you go. Go check out that series. I'm telling you, you want to see documentation on this? Go check it out. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.